It is time. Oh boy. What? What if I <laughs> turned online mode on? I'm not going to. But what if? Also, we have our we have our dab back. Blamo. Oh shoot! I need to update my stream information because it still says Homestuck Pokemon. I'm very bad at that. Welcome, Bridget. Uh, is that the dial-up sound? Oh my god. But yeah, um, I'll just do blammo. Dash. Thank you. I also love my glasses. I love Hat Kids Idol animations. There we go. Update update information. So it should now actually say that I'm playing a hat in time rather than Spurbmon. I don't write Teddy voice, because I think that was that was what Will was using. Okay. This is act the glasses are actually probably gonna make this harder because like half my screen is like it looks like I'm playing it on the Virtual Boy, just like that red and black color. The bottom half is fine. But I could take them off, but I, I, I'm gonna make these part of my brand now. So... Alright. Sleepy Subcon, <laughs> let's go. I cannot wait to die. Oh yeah, this is gonna make things difficult until I get used to it. We'll figure it out. Okay, I don't actually really remember the route for Sleepy Subcon. I don't have my Grappling Hook badge equipped. I also have one hit hero equipped for some reason. Whoops. Uh, let's put item magnet back. I'll like raise the glasses up on my nose so it's like they're still there but I can see under it better. Okay, let's try that better. That try that again now that I have the the badges I need equipped. Because we need grappling hooks and we need Well, magnet helps. You don't need it, but But yeah, Alpine Skylines is going to be a time, I'm sure. Okay, um... Is that everything here? I think so. And then... We jump this way? Maybe? The two bonuses are definitely gonna just be collect all the golden pawns, as well as... Um, complete with X amount of time remaining. And I'm definitely not going to be able to get the bonuses the first couple times. I think the first couple times are just for figuring out the level and getting my path all worked out. I might be able to get all the pawns if I, if I do it okay, but with the rate I'm playing at here, that's not happening. I'm kind of playing really bad. <laughs> I love the freeing outfit that the... Oh yeah, I definitely jumped the gun here. Um, because there's pawns over here I need to get. So we're definitely not getting the time limit. But I love the outfit the not the Nyakuza Metro gives you. Just the, the sweater with the cat tail, it's great. Ow. How dare you. If I die... <laughs> I'm gonna be upset. Is there... I don't think there's any more pawns, actually, so... This might actually not be that bad to finish in however many seconds it wants me to. 
Okay, I collected every Rift Pawn. But what... A rare sticker has appeared in the lava cake. Go find it. I'm good, thanks. Maybe, maybe after the stream's done, I'll go and pick it up. Yeah, what time does it want me to finish that in? Probably 30 seconds. 30 seconds remaining. That seems to be the con the the constant. Yeah, there. Yeah, with 30 seconds to spare, that shouldn't be too too bad. Snatcher coins in Subcon Forest. I definitely want to get that. Why is this? Why is this not enabled? This needs to be enabled so I can just get it as I go. I'll unlock this, see what it is. Quality time with Snatcher! Survive Snatcher for two minutes. Oh, for six minutes. That... That shouldn't be that bad. Snatcher's not that hard. Okay. Let's go and finish this with 30 seconds to spare. It should be a lot easier now that I don't have to worry about collecting every pawn. Yeah, I, I only thought to check to see if that challenge was enabled, because I know that I I killed um, a unique enemy, and it didn't pop up. So I'm like, wait a minute. That, like, octopus thing that was shooting shockwaves at it, I know that I haven't killed that before with that challenge activated. So it's like, hmm... So I'll have to make sure to kind of just graze one on my way by. Actually, we want to start over here. I don't even need to be collecting all of these. I'm actually just wasting my time doing this. I just need to collect enough to advance and then advance. Just ignore that one. In we go! Yeah, in in this area I believe there was, like, a shockwave octopus thing that I killed. Maybe it was in the next one, I don't remember. I think it was actually in the next one, yeah. This one's easy to grab, may as well. Yeah, these things! There we go. Actually, I think I have enough to move on, and I, I want to because I need at least 10 seconds to to destroy this. And gotcha. Okay, that was surprisingly forgiving. Because I know for a fact I, I did not do that very well. Definitely could have done that a lot better, but we still got it, so it's good. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's go for the Snatcher Coins in Subcon Forest. That shouldn't... Jeez. Okay, so... I guess it doesn't matter which one I go into, it's just in all of them. Okay. Um, I'm gonna want the compass badge on, I think. And I think that's all that really matters in terms of badges. Um... Yeah. There we go. Because it, it'll, it'll point me to them. So, there's one of them in this direction, towards the well. A sinking feeling about this place, you say. About the place that you straight up sink in. This is the well, so it's not here. Come on, make it to the dock! Good. <clears throat> Ooh, 
witch is... Okay, this is my witch's hat. That's that. Ah, the one I don't actually have something neat about is the, the forest dwellers. Okay. Mm, it's looking like... Oh, was that it just above us? I think that was. Not that I want to be stopping to check that out in the middle of the... No, it must have been something else that I saw. Is it... It's, is it looked like I was, like, jumping into something and then just a miss, but... Oh, you know what it probably was? It was probably the grappling hook that I also just failed to hit. Because I'm very good at video games. <laughs> okay, so it's up in this direction. But I'm not quite sure how I get up there from here. The subcon forest is actually probably the level I know the layout of the least. That's a present. It's not the coin, but we may as well see what is inside. It's just a rift token. Oh, yeah, I see the snatcher coin. It's just a matter of how do I get to it? I don't really see a way up. Maybe the maybe the grappling hook I missed actually, because some of those pull you up into the air. Honestly, now that I think about it, that's probably it. <laughs> the skeleton doesn't have a hitbox. Oh no. There's a lot happening up in these trees, he says, which is great, um, when I can't even get up into the trees. I do have my grappling. Yeah, I do have it equipped. How? Where do I reach that from? Uh. Okay, there we go. Can I jump on the skeleton's head? Yes. But what that does for me exactly is inconclusive. Well, that makes does get me closer to the coin, but can I walk on the... No, I cannot... What am I on? I can't really walk on the badges, so... I have no idea how to get up there. <laughs> it's gotta be with the grapple points. I don't see what else it could be. I'm just gonna let let it eat me again. Cause you can't you can't walk on the branches can walk on the ice, but that doesn't really do anything for me. I can probably walk on the, the thick tree branches, but again, I don't see what that does for me.
I have no idea where it wants me to go to get to this thing. Unless I kind of gotta like jump on things that weren't otherwise intended to be jumped on, which is honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Death Wish is kind of like that. A lot of the time it expects you to use kind of like glitch feeling things, but like maybe I can stand on top of this tree. That is a yes. Kind of. Okay, so I, I think I think that's how it wants me to do it. It probably wants me to stand on like a very specific point of that tree and then just kinda jump from there. But also, it's very hard to tell where you can land and where you can't. Okay. Can I step on this? Yes, I can step on this thick branch right here. That might make it easier for me to... Okay, so no, I can't I can't step on the very tip of that tree. In which case I can stand like inside it though. In which case I am incredibly confused. And at this point will I'm just gonna look this up to speed this along. Uh snatcher coins subcon. No, that is like a 14 minute video. Um, I just want to see the one I'm struggling with. I don't want to see what the other ones are. Okay, so it is definitely through the grapple points. It's just I've been coming at it from too close, too close to it. There's probably there's like another place that I can like rise up uh, and get get high enough to actually reach the grapple points. But I actually don't recall where that is. There's like, there's like a noose that you can grab onto, and then the noose will bring you. There it is. At least, I think this is it. At the very least, it was a noose that brought me up. It might not be the, but it is a. I love how it's not even connected to anything, it's just kind of there. Okay. I need to be careful now so I don't fall down, but if I... There we go! That's how you get to it. Okay, where next? This direction? Sure. Let's just try and get out of the swamp. I didn't know that the, the nooses talked to you when you grappled onto them. That's 
Kind of freaky. Oh god, that's horrifying. I wouldn't mind being strapped around a cute neck like yours. That's terrible! <laughs> uh... What the hell? Okay. Oh, I see it. I see it up there at the top of the, the scaffolding here. That's not my sprint my sprint hat. That is my throw a bomb of money hat. <laughs> Very different. Very different hats. Nope. Okay. This one shouldn't be too hard to actually work my way way to. It's just kinda platforming around the thing. Oh, I probably have to climb on the ice. So, can I? Yes, I can. Okay. This one was a lot simpler to reach. And we found two of three. And the third and final Snatcher Coin of Subcon Forest is this way. Oh, good. Health Ponds. <laughs> Needed those. Still, like, straight ahead, huh? Mm. Okay, so it is... It's in another area that is... Through this way, then? But how do I get there? Okay, can I like, can I like run across from here? No, I can't. Curse you, invisible walls! Oh, this has got to be it. Uh, if I recall correctly, doesn't this lead to? Yeah, this leads to Vanessa's manor. That horrifying place. <laughs> if this is, if I have to like sneak through Vanessa's banner and actually like contend with Vanessa herself. That would be horrifying. Just for a single coin. I'm almost expecting it at this point. Oh god. I'm surprised I made that without my platforms disappearing on me, but... Yeah, we're still we're still headed like directly to Vanessa's Manor, huh? There it is. Do we go inside? Snatcher wood too. Um But whether or not Snatcher did is the question. It's above us. I don't remember if the inside of the dungeon had multiple floors or not. Or if I'm just going to have to, like, climb onto the roof. It's looking like I just have to climb onto the roof. Oh, there's a present I never got. Probably another, yeah, another Rift coin that I have <laughs> absolutely no use for. There it is. Puts it on her chimney. 
Of course you did, Snatcher. Uh, not not quick quick game. Back to hub. Does it have an attic? I don't remember. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because it was on the chimney. <laughs> but yeah, freaking community levels absolutely breaks your need for for rift tokens because every because community levels can can give you can give you rift tokens but every time piece you get in a community level also counts as a rift token yeah the machine is empty so like i can't use them anymore so like i just remember there being like um community levels that are specifically there, so you can grind rift tokens. What is this? The queen's dress? I feel like an elf. But also, I want... Where is it? I want the Nyakiza the vest back. Okay. So we have quality time with Snatcher. We still have Snatcher's hit list. Um, and then Bird Sanctuary, let's, this is definitely seal the deal, where it's just the, the boss rush of all the powered up, uh, bosses, and I'm not looking forward to that at all, that's gonna suck. Um, alright, quality time with Snatcher. Oh, good! So we just have to survive for six minutes? That shouldn't be hard at all. Unless this is a powered up version of Snatcher, in which case I'm going to eat my worms. But I think we'll be fine. This, it doesn't say it's powered up, just that there's no blue potions this time, so it's just a matter of surviving attacks for six minutes. Uh, right, we don't have hats, so badges don't matter. Bum, bum, bum. The best part of this is we get to hear your contract has inspired, expired for six minutes. <laughs> Thank you for the good luck, but I think I think we'll be fine. I've gone on record saying that this is pretty much the easiest boss in the game. Even though it looks like there's a lot happening, the attacks aren't super difficult to avoid. I say as I always get caught off guard by him doing the shockwave attacks and land flat on my face. One minute. The song is such a jam. <laughs> So how do I turn in this challenge when I complete it? Do I just have to die or will it end on its own after six minutes? <laughs> That's two minutes! Just four more. It is looking like he is turning up the rate of his attacks after after two minutes, so it it does look like it'll get harder, but Yeah, he, he did many more shockwaves that time.
You know, I'm fine with him just keeping, d just uh, continuously doing the shockwaves over and over again because the shockwave attack takes up a lot of time. I probably should have taken damage there, there too, but alas, three minutes, halfway there. <laughs> First damage, first damage taken, and we're ha we're only we're already halfway there, so I think we'll be good unless he gets like exceptionally difficult for the last two minutes. Ah, more shockwaves. Good. Let's waste some more time this way. And we are at four minutes. Just two more. He spawned right on top of me. That kind of sucked. I find a running in circles during like the pink shockwave part is super effective. Because I, it looks like he, um, calls those, oh god, calls those in the direction you are going, so if you keep changing direction, it kind of, oh jeez, it kind of like, makes it so there'll be a direction like, you'll already have turned around by the time it spawns in front of you. Alright, one minute left. And we have two health remaining, so we should be fine, unless I get super cocky, because, as we all know, hubris is my downfall. And if I let it consume me, I will fail last minute. So let's not do that. Thirty seconds. Ten. <laughs> Let me jump! And six! Does it end on its own? Yes, it does. Alright. Okay. So what comes after quality time with Snatcher? Okay, so we unlock the Community Rift, the Twilight tri Travels. Uh, this should be easy. The community rifts are actually just fun levels, I find. Thank you. And this is breaching the contracts. Defeat the Snatcher. So this must be a powered up, just a powered up version of Snatcher then. Um. Okay. Yeah, it must be a powered up version of Snatcher because it's, it's, um connected to this one, which is also connected to the powered-up versions of... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I read that but didn't react to it. Yes, I'm even more handsome than normal. Okay, well, let's do the community rift first. A powered-up version of Snatcher, though. Okay. 
Oh, the the compass badge works in the the ri Oh man, that would have made finding storybook pages in uh, the actual time rifts much easier. Um, because the the actual time rifts have a problem where the amount of storybook pages is not consistent between sections. So I found myself having to like guess a lot. Oh, what am I doing? Um, but... Rift gates are spawned using bells. Use your kid's hat to find them. But, um... If the... If the compass badge points you to them, that makes things... a lot easier and more manageable. So, I like that if that's the case. See, the community, the, the Hat and Time community, makes some really good stuff. There's some community levels I've played where it's like... Okay, this is, like, they're, they're like, super buggy and not well thought out, but a lot of them... Right, I forgot about those enemies, but a lot of them are, like, super well thought out, and... The ones that are meant to be, like, good levels are damn good levels, and the ones that are meant to be, like funny are absolutely hysterical. I played one called, like, Hat Kid Steals the Declaration of Independence, and it was, like, the best thing I've ever played. It was both hilarious and just a really good level, honestly. <laughs> like, it had its own, like, voice acting and everything, too. There was just a lot of work put into it. Please let me out. Okay, so there are eight storybook pages in all. Doesn't look like there's much more in this room. Um... Okay. Most of these are just regular pawns. I'm also not sure for the, the compass, um... That's not... The compass badge. I'm not sure if it, like, points you to the nearest thing, or just something that's there. So, I guess I'll have to make double sure of that when I'm... Let's just keep swinging, and... Now! It looks like it just points you to things that are there, so maybe I won't be able to rely on the, the compass mat, the, the compass badge after all. Because it wasn't pointing me to that, that pawn at all, despite it being, like, right there, and of course I missed it when it was right in front of me. I tried to turn it off, and it didn't. It didn't turn off. Maybe I just. Pr I probably pressed the button with really bad timing, but whoops. <gasps> Let me up. I will get this pawn. Mark my worms. Okay, so maybe you just can't activate it immediately after wall jumping, so we're gonna wanna... There we go. That's what we want. Okay, but how do I... Oh, oh, of course. 
We jump off this, jump in the air, and wall jump better than that. There we go. And two's all we need to advance. Almost missed that storybook page. That would have sucked. Let's check this side then. Okay, nope, looks like we're good in this room. So let's go back and try where we were going before, before I just kind of turned around to do, to go inside that room. Oh. <laughs> I hate those things so much. <laughs> okay, wait till it approaches and jump through it. Perfect. Okay, and pop, 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 pop. I'm worried about there being something inside this. It doesn't look like there is, but the fact that it was there... Oh boy, okay, so... Come on! Gotcha! I just have to be on a constant lookout with the camera to make sure I'm not missing anything. Hmm... We have three pawns. Now it's just a matter of finding the bell, which is like right down there. Okay. I am going to trust. Actually, let's. I'm gonna get. pull out a notepad. So if I get this wrong. if I get it wrong at any step, I can keep track of. Uh, which sections have what. So, this would be section one. And we are leaving it with two and four. Nope, we're gonna be leaving it with three, because I just saw a storybook page on top of one of these pillars. Um, now the question is, how do I... Like that? Okay. Okay, we're, we're leaving this with two, or we're leaving this with three and four. And it didn't, it didn't cancel our completion, so I'm going to, so that means that we got everything there. So three pages, four pawns. And we're starting section two with two pawns, then, I think. Yeah. Okay. So now I know that if... Thank you for the rift token. <clears throat> that if I return have to do this over... <clears throat> I know not to leave section section one without three and four. May as well just activate that while we're here. Okay. <laughs> I could just leave now if I wanted to, but that would be... Uh, mistake. Bonus failed. How dare you. That's gonna be a fun bonus to do. Kill ten alpine pompous crows without being bullied! 
I hate them. I made an even bigger mistake in just dashing over the ske the skeleton, the spider. Spiders and skeletons are very two very different things, me. Okay, so now let's just look ahead and try to make sure I don't give the the crows an opportunity to push me off anymore. Like that. I find the fact that I haven't gotten any storybook pages on, like, just yet in this area in general, I find that very concerning. It makes me feel like I miss them, but... I can't see any... Well, I see one off over there in the distance, but I can't see any left on this platform, so... I guess I'll just have to take it on authority that I got everything. Okay, we already got this here. Yes, okay. So, there's only one direction left to go, then. So, hopefully... I haven't missed anything in the three small directions I've already gone to. Hello! Oh, right, I need to... I'm very good at this! Oh god, oh no! health remaining because of freaking baby birds. Oh good, health. More health. Um, there was a storybook page somewhere on this, in this area, but there it is. I'm gonna go around and go back up just to make sure I didn't miss anything else up there. Is it really, there can't just be only one storybook page in this area, can there? Guess so, huh? Oh! <laughs> How did it come to this? <laughs> How did I let that happen? <laughs> okay, there's a health pawn over there. Need it. Thank you. It hasn't told me I screwed it up yet, so I guess you want to leave with section two with four pages and th uh, three pawns, or three pawns after putting the things in. I actually forget how many I had. It's fine. I'll know what I meant if I have to do this again. These guys don't hurt me, no. Just have to make sure, check behind them and everything. Okay. Jeez, there's so many of them. Why is there an army of birds? <laughs> Ah, 
They're very easy enemies to kill, but when there's a lot of them at once, and especially when you need to be using the Forest Dweller's Mask, it's horrifying. Nope, you're a bully. I would rather not reset that counter if I can help it. Hmm. Hmm. Where is it? Here it is. <laughs> okay. Am I sure I haven't missed anything back there? Because heading back is gonna suck, if so. Um, probably want to hit this one with magic. Yeah, there we go. Well, here is our end of current segments, but... Let's double check behind everything to make sure, and... Maybe it doesn't cancel... Maybe it doesn't, like, tell you you failed until the first time you've did it? Done it? Never forget, being determined can push you to greater lengths than you may ever know. Be proud of your work, even if it's a small thing. Your wish... You wish you could meet this goat one day. He seems like a great friend to have. Okay, so maybe I got all the pawns, but I definitely missed two storybook pages because I thought it would tell me immediately if I failed to collect everything. Well, I got every rift pawn, so now I only have to, to focus on storybook pages. But yeah, I thought it would tell me immediately if I failed to collect everything in a section. I'll read this over once I have all the pages. Um, but I guess not, so... I do know that there is at least three in section one. So maybe, maybe now that I've completed it once, now it'll tell me if I screw something up. But yeah, as, as I mentioned earlier, that this is like the big thing about the, the storybook rifts is that like, you can't tell if you've got everything in, in a section. It doesn't really give you any feedback to that, on that respect. And I think that's, like, the, the greatest failing, because... I think either they should... There's a story about page here. Uh, either they should be consistent about... Um, how many are in e each section? Or they should tell you up front that, hey, there's three in this section, but only one in the next. Things like that. Because otherwise, it's very hard to tell whether it's safe to move on or not. Okay, so I know that there are at least three... At least three in this section. There, it's probably only three. But I know not to leave until I have at least four on hand then. And big trouble here is that I don't remember where they all are. <laughs> so this is gonna suck. There's one that I haven't found, though. I do know that, because I, I reached six at the end of the first time, and I know for a fact that I forgot about, or I missed the, the very first one. Uh, so that just leaves one more that I have to discover.
I'm trying to, like, jump to get off of the sliding down the sides, but... Are you serious? I'm not lined up properly? There, just a little bit to the left. That should help. There we go. Okay. I think I know where the... Yeah, I remember where the last one is in this area. Uh, it was up at the the top. That is not the, the correct hat. I have the correct hat equipped. Yeah, there's... Why did I take it off? I, I took it off to see better without considering what floor I was on. Whoops. But yeah, there's... I thought I was good to go after hitting the bell. I forgot that I also needed to forest dwell. But yeah, there was a storybook page here, and that puts me at four. Um, so now it's just a matter of... I'll, I'll explore up here as well, just to make absolutely sure I have everything. But I think that's all for, for section one. Uh, I just need to be more fed out in the other sections. There we go. Right, I keep I keep forgetting that just because there isn't one of those delete floor foxes that I don't need to use the, the dweller mask, but I do. I need to use the dweller mask to land on green. Do, I think we are good. I think we're good for this section. I almost don't want to do this platforming thing, but just for the sake of being thorough. Hello? Okay, yeah, we're we're good here. At least I hope. Okay, I think the next one is the one I have to be more thorough on because I came to the conclusion that there was only one here, I think. Which really does not feel right at all. I feel like this area would definitely have more than one. Yeah, there's there's the one. I'll we'll just kill the one I need to kill. circle around these. Okay. I think we're good there. Can I make it back from here? I'm gonna try! Full glory! Yeah, easily. Okay. <laughs> Okay, 
What did I say? That I, I knew that one was too little for this area. And yep, there was one just like right in plain sight at the beginning that I missed because I'm an absolute fool. How many? It wants me to have three to move on. Okay, well, we have four, so I'll just grab the one here. And then we'll make up the difference we need to, to rush to the end in the next one. Because, yeah, there is definitely one in the next the next region. And then definitely one in the final one. Um... Nope. There's so many! There we go. I don't remember where the one is in this area, though, which might be an issue. Oh, hey, it's the bully. The pompous crow. I could technically try and grind that challenge here, but I think I'll wait until the the Alpine area. This would go a lot smoother if I remembered just what uh, hats were in what order. <laughs> Okay, now where was the... I didn't already pass it, did I? I hope not. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I should just do this over and over again to get the bullies done. Where did I miss... the storybook... page here? There it is. All the way at the beginning, because of course it is. There we go, and now the last story of a page will just be at the very end. Yeah, you know, I, I think I actually will just grind it out, grind out this mission for the pompous crows, because there are like four in this mission, I think? Because there's three on that one cliffside where I kept getting bullied before I realized they were there. And then there's there's one in this area. So yeah, I think... I think I'd probably... It's probably best if I do that. And then, here we go! There's the last storybook page! Dun, 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 dun. All right, and now let's see what story that has to tell the forgotten children. So the oh no, so like they basically they all got killed by Vanessa's wrath. And then Snatcher signed them into a contract for the rest of their their foreseeable death. Damn it, Snatcher! <laughs> yep, time to get back to work. Alright. Well, yeah, let's just, let's just run through the Twilight Travel just, just as quick as we can to get six Alpine Crows. And hopefully I won't screw myself over and accidentally get hit uh, and restart that count to zero. I wonder what the four types of enemies I haven't killed are. 
I know at least one, perhaps two of them are the, like, thieving foxes in the Alpine Skylines, because... I just, I know I haven't encountered those while I've had the challenge active. Um, and I say one or two, because I'm pretty sure there's two, two flavors of them, but I don't know if they count the owls. What, what owls do you mean? I'm not sure I remember what you're referring to. But yeah, like, cause I... I'll, I'll do that if I find myself missing any of them, but I do want to try and get... I would rather try and get that, like, as I just go through Death Wish. Save a little bit of time that way, I think. Oh! Yeah, maybe then. Maybe I maybe I should just do that, I'll get that out of the way now, because I don't actually remember if there are any other levels where owls attack you. So, yeah, you're right. I should probably just go through there real quick. And just to knock the challenge out, I keep forgetting that I can't just jump on the green, even if I just get rid of the red. So yeah, after I gra uh, grind out the pompous crows, I'll just go to the the final level and just run through it and see. Okay, we've got everything we need to in here. Um, have I not? I guess I haven't swung the the bell yet. Okay, and then they are on... No, it's it's that one over there. Now, for the... Ooh. Especially with, like, the first crow. I have to be careful getting on. And we want to immediately jump out of range. This one, it'd probably be better to not even get into range and just k kill him with my cash dollar bills, yo. I believe... I think there's one more on here. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Let's just take aim. That's not taking aim. Neither is that. Come on, Hat Kid, you can do better than that. Perfect. Okay, so now we just need to do one more run-through of that. And we'll have the... Does that really count as a death? I've already completed it, man. But we just need to do one more run-through, and then we should have all the, the crows. And then we just gotta run through the final, final area and just kill a bunch of enemies. Done. Done. God. Let's swing this immediately to just save a bit of time. <laughs> you only need two to advance in this one, but the, the, the two take a bit of time to actually reach. Excuse me? I'm not quite sure what happened there. I love that tried and true hat and time collision. Let's, let's remember that I can't immediately jump on the green without the Dweller's Mask this time, huh? There we go. Well, 
Oops. I want to jump before activating that. There we go. Now we can move on and get our last three Alpine Crows. And again, we want to be very careful about getting to the Alpine Crow platform because we don't want to run... We don't want to run into them. There we go. Bless the magic, the magic hat, or just the cat ears in this. Okay. Gotcha! Alright. We have completed... We've, we've, we've killed ten alpine crows, or a pompous crows without being bullied, so now time to just go and kill a bunch of enemies. This is a very... This is a very productive stream compared to the last couple... Death Wish streams where, like, I get, like, a challenge done. We've been getting a whole bunch done here, which is very nice. I shouldn't say that because up next is Powered Up Snatcher, and I don't know how Powered Up Powered Up Snatcher is. He might hand his a hand <laughs> he might hand his ass to me on a silver platter. Yes, that that is how that expression works. No, he'll he'll hand my ass to me on a silver platter. Hopefully it won't be too bad. I didn't even notice this was here the first time. What happens if I keep taking tickets? Does it eventually break? Does it eventually run out? I don't know. Beat it, kid. I'm trying. Just Beat it, kid. I feel like Mustache Kid should have been more prevalent throughout the game. Because she only really appears in the first act and the last. I feel like she should have had, like, just a constant presence throughout the game. And that would have probably made this cooler. It's like, you honestly forget about her. Uh, during... A, from a lot of the missions, because, like, she's just not present, and Snatcher, for example, is just a so much more menacing villain, for the most part. Okay, so we got one of the Firebirds. I'm just gonna... Oh, hello. I'm just gonna throw... money at anything that moves and try and kill it. It burns! I don't think this is killable. I'm going to give that a solid no. Either the owls didn't count, or I already had the owls before. Oh, right, this. <laughs> Great jump! 10 out of 10! Okay. I know I've already gotten Tanukis, but just, just to be doubly sure. We've killed the fire, the fire crows. Um, ba ba ba. Where is, here's my magic. I don't know why I'm bothering. I, it's not like I need any pawns. Um. Okay. <laughs> Just clip through the flaming pillar. It's, it's fine. Ah. 
I feel like I've gotten everything out of this level that I can, but I will go through just to double check. Yeah, I'm almost certain that um, that at least two of them are like the thieving foxes in the Alpine skylines, uh, which just leaves me with the final one that I'm not sure. Not sure what I need. Well, we're getting one of the thieving enemies here. So there was the, the thieving ones, and I'm pretty sure there's ones that are just regular, <laughs> the poor mafia, that are just kind of regularly visible that don't actually steal from you, but they're of, like, the same area. I'm pretty sure these guys aren't killable. These guys are, like, sort of allies. go over that. You're no stun owl. <laughs> okay, yeah, we, we've got everything we can here, so... There's two, there's two left that I need to get that aren't. <clears throat> I know at least one of them is in the Alpine Skylines. But I don't know about the other one. So hopefully we'll just stumble upon him as we go. But regardless, time to breach that contract and defeat a snatcher that is even more handsome than usual. All right, how how are you powered up, snatcher? Yep, wait up, kid. And now Snatcher is rainbow colored. Snatcher now says gay rights. Oh, Jesus. What is happening? Wow, I took two damage right off the bat. Not even because it's terribly dangerous, but just because I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so his shockwave attacks now send, like, actual shockwaves after them. Uh, like the pink shockwaves from the ground now have, like, an actual shockwave effect to it. Oh! Those things hurt me now, too! Okay, good to know. So the pink the pink shockwaves attacks, it's not enough to simply jump or to simply avoid them. I now must jump over them. And now the little uh phantoms that mock you ow, also deal damage. I shouldn't have stayed in the middle of all that. That was a grave error on my part. Okay, so now we want to avoid these guys. 
rather than doing what I usually do, which is just swing my umbrella at them to shoo them away. Oh. How? Well, we reached the part where we're able to damage him now, but given that I have one health remaining, I'm not so sure how the rest of this is gonna... Yeah, there we go. He's a lot harder, I'll give it that. But I do definitely think this is... This is definitely doable, I think. And it will probably be a lot easier for me to figure out than the other powered-up versions of the bosses. I say as I immediately take damage. <laughs> Two damage immediately once again. I'll get the hang of it, I'm sure. It's just... Oh god, right in the middle of them all. Hello. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, he throws those flasks during these attacks now, huh? Okay. Yep, there we go. So when do I get to attack him again? No, I'm not using peace and tranquility. Shut up. No surrender. I, like, never get hit by that phantom stampede, and now, now I just keep getting hit by it in, the, in this challenge. I wonder if, like, either the speed changed, or if the other stuff just leads me into it, or if I'm just not paying attention and landing in it. It's probably that last one. <laughs> Well, for the flasks, it's definitely the best idea to stay in the air, because they explode, but... Oh. I should have died there, probably. Oh god. I don't like the combination of the flasks with his other moves. That makes things very unfortunate. Basically, anything that that requires you to avoid two different staggered moves, I'm not a fan of. Because the flasks force you a certain way, but the other moves also force you to move a certain way. And a lot of the times, those certain ways don't align, so it's just like, well, damn. I can't believe I got hit by one of those flasks in midair. Why do I have another flask? Can I make him bluer? Okay, so this goes around twice now. Oh, 
What is happening? That was three times. That was more than twice. Yeah, I saw that coming. Oh god. Maybe grabbing that flask was a bad idea when I still had jumping to do. But it turned out. Snatcher, how much health do you have? Holy shock waves! There is so much going on. Where when do I land? I didn't see that last one coming. <laughs> Where and when do I land? I swear, if one of the challenges for this one is to do it with one hit hero equipped, I'm gonna go feral. The flasks do seem easier to avoid than usual, though. Well, at least the single ones that, like, target you one after the other. Because I seem to recall that if you just kind of walked to avoid them, they would hit you. But now I can walk to avoid them. So I don't know. Where is... Oh, right up in front of him. How kind of you. Alright, we made it... We made it to being able to hurt him phase without actually taking any damage this time, so... We are... Making progress. Let's get out of the way first. And now we throw it. Da -da -da. <laughs> Damn it, Snatcher. Okay, now it does three cycles around. Uh, oh, yeah, I knew I was gonna get hit there. That, I just couldn't see that shockwave coming because it was behind one of those giant pillars. Yeah, I think the guys circling around definitely go faster now. <laughs> okay, but at the very least, I am, I am figuring this out. So, I, I'm, I know I definitely can do this, it's just a matter of time. <laughs> Damn it, I got hit by one of them in the air. It's weird, because I feel like this fight is overall easier to learn than the other powered-up bosses I've fought so far. But if you don't know what you're doing, it's easier to get hit in this one. It's, like, harder to intuit how to respond to, to the patterns, but the patterns are ultimately easier to figure out, if that makes sense. I say that and immediately get just destroyed. I shouldn't have gone for the flask. I have no idea where I, why I did. Um. Okay.
Love getting caught right in the middle of those. <laughs> I shouldn't have escaped that without taking damage, but you know what? No complaints. Oh god. This is how you look. You're an idiot, and you smell. Thanks, Snatcher. Love you too, pal. Okay. He's damageable now. I keep missing when I go to pick up the flask, because I'm a fool. hair out of my eyes. There we go. Alright, that's just a matter of going up, down, up, down. Good. We're back. We're back in blue. We're back in blue health. Go. Okay, gotcha. That's so much going on. Are you gonna do? Yep, you're gonna do your shockwave attack. Okay. Come on! Gotcha. Okay, we're back in blue health. Perfect. Okay, this combo is actually... not that bad. Gotcha! Yeah! That was a lot easier to actually, like, figure out and do. A lot more overwhelming at first, but ultimately, it's still Snatcher. Don't let your HP drop to one was one of them. So that's good. You know what the other one probably is? Since we could hit him with both, with both our umbrella and the flasks, the second challenge is probably to not hit him with my umbrella, only hit him with the flasks. I think I almost guarantee- I- yeah, I almost guarantee that that is the challenge. Also, I'm gonna switch this to... Uh, sure. Yeah, don't let your HP draw to zero- don't attack me, only throw blue potions. Okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, what is our- the witch outfit? I might actually keep this on. You know what? Yeah, I'm actually gonna keep the witch outfit on. That, I like that, actually. But yes, let's... Let's breach the contract only throwing blue potions. We can definitely do that. That shouldn't be too difficult at all. Yeah, I really like the witch outfit. And then after this, we're done with Subcon Forest. We all we have left is uh, the Alpine Skylines, and whichever two are in the middle. One of them I know is the Super Howard Boss Rush, uh, but I don't know what the other one is. Okay. 
Come on, just throw... Just start throwing the blue potions. Ooh, I almost took damage there. All right, yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming out, Bridget. I'm, I'm glad to see you here, but... Yeah, and see you later. Oh, God. Oh, no. Damn it. Well, we can at least deal damage now. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Damn it. Oh, no. Oh, God. Why am I taking so much damage here? <laughs> I got hit with, like, every single potion there. That sucked. That attempt didn't happen. <laughs> I'm just going... Nope. <laughs> oh man, I'm really taking damage against the first attack. Why am I getting worse again after I complete it and now I'm getting worse? Normally I'd blame it on the fact that I'm having to do a challenge now, but like... This challenge isn't even a f really affecting whether or not I get hit or not, it's just affecting whether or not I can attack. So I have no excuse for just all those blunders that just happened. <laughs> oh god. Hello! Off you go. Perfect. Start throwing blue potions at me. I need to use them to attack you, Snatcher. Oh god, I jumped the gun on going down. Oh god. I feel like I'm about to die. Snatcher, you asshole! You dodged my potion at the last second! Snatcher, I will obliterate you. Just because I'm screwing up majorly here doesn't mean... doesn't mean that I give up. You will die, sir. It's just a matter of when. Here is my throwable. Now go! Okay, this is a good... This is a good combination. This isn't! Come on, give me health! Good. Oh god. Oh, no throwable blue potion? Are you serious? Snatcher! Throw me ammunition! Oh god, I'm right in the middle of it. Come on, give me health! No, okay. This is not an attack combination I like, Snatcher! No throwable blues. Okay. Yep. 
Oh. oh no, 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 no. Okay, good. We're safe. One health. Living on a prayer. We can't even attack half the time because Snatcher refuses to throw a flask that turns into one we can actually pick up. Snatcher! You bastard! Four. You underestimate my power, Snatcher. Stupid determination is just how I go. Hey guys, what's up? Don't worry about me, I'm just... There we go. Alright, finally, we are, we'll be able to attack again. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect to make it out of that without taking damage, but that's okay. Nope. Not dealing with that attack again. <laughs> Shouldn't have made it out of that without taking damage, but again, no complaints. Okay, so the flask that he throws during his, sh his like, teleporting shockwave attack never turn into uh, ones I can use as a weapon. I've... I've noticed. So. Yeah, no, okay, so these ones don't turn into weapons, so I only get to to use the ones as a weapon during his, like, pink shockwave attack. Okay, well, now I know that at the very least. Oh god. That was just a two, three times damage combo. Oh no. Snatcher! <laughs> now that I figured it out, you can't just keep using the attack that doesn't give me a weapon. That's not fair. <laughs> Get back in the center and throw some normal flasks at me. Snatcher, you shut your mouth. This would be over if you would if you would just give me some ammunition. This is not the attack I want, Sasher. <laughs> Come on, get in the center and start throwing start throwing flasks at me the normal way. Oh 
Okay, good. This is the attack I want. Okay, we do once, and then... Oh god, we don't want to press the in on the control stick. That... That's dangerous. Give me the attack I need, Snatcher, you absolute coward. None of these are the attacks I need, Snatcher. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this is... <laughs> this challenge is actually kind of annoying, because it is entirely dependent on RNG. He has to use a very specific attack, or you cannot counterattack. And, uh... My luck is abysmal, so the amount of times he uses the attack I need is... next to none. Just as a general rule, I tend to not like challenges that are dependent on RNG for that reason, because my luck is so bad. It makes everything way harder for me than it needs to be. And this is definitely a major RNG one. That, the, all that damage though was just me playing like garbage. I won't mince words there. Snatcher, I, I will kill you. It is just a matter of time. Don't think that I won't. I missed? <laughs> I can't believe the flask missed. Is this? No, of course it isn't. going to go absolutely feral. RNG, please throw me a bone. Thank you. Yeah. 
That said, it doesn't matter if I can't even get to the flask. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't want to choke on freaking water. That would suck. I just really wish that Snatcher's RNG would agree with me and actually give me the the attacks I need frequently. Rather than like once every five minutes. Not the attack I need, Snatcher. You've already proven that I don't get a weapon to attack with if you're warping from place to place. Please do the other one where you throw flasks. This one. This one is a good attack. This is the one I need. That also assumes I can get to the flask, though. Come on! Gotcha. And that one heals me, but... Snatcher, I need health again. No, there we go. I was on the ground just for a split second, and that split second was enough for him to, to come up and just throw me on my ass. That was a mistake. I tried to jump over both the the spirits and the, the shockwave, and then I just ended up getting hit. Keep away from me. Picking that flask up really was, excuse me, was very much a mistake because uh, it takes away my double jump. And double jump is very much appreciated when trying to avoid shock waves! Yeah, no. Why am I having so much trouble with this now? I got the don't let your health drop to 1 HP. <laughs> if, I, if I can beat him without getting to 1 HP, I should, should be able to beat him without dying. But alas, I am getting worse. Much worse.
There we go. Okay, we're back in the blue. Snatcher, please give me the attack I need. Thank you. Ask and you shall receive, I suppose. Uh, no. I know if he waits a second before doing anything that it's gonna be him teleporting. He starts doing the, the pink shockwaves immediately if that's the one he's gonna do. <laughs> There's so much going on! Come on, give me health! Yes, thank you. And then he's gonna transition directly into yeah. Come on. Gimme give gimme give another flask to hit you with. This is not another flask to hit you with I was holding down and I wasn't moving down. I guess because I was trying to dash. I didn't have enough momentum when I tried to dash, so I ended up just crouching on the ground and just accepting my death in front of Snatcher, as it were. So that, that was incredibly unfortunate. I don't think I've ever crouched intentionally in this game. It's always just when I'm trying to dash, oh, like away from something, and then Hat Kid crouches and I get hit by it. God damn it. Great. <laughs> uh, I think I think I have about a half hour left. I can keep doing this before I have to go. So, hopefully things work out in my favor before then. I did want to I did want to go and start into the Alpine Skylines, but it looks like that's not happening this stream unfortunately because Snatcher is an asshole. Um but either way, we did get a, a lot of challenges done, so that's very nice. Good. This is this is the attack I want. 
Don't you dare dodge at the last second. He was gonna. I got in there just in time. There we go. That's how we want things to work out. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. I didn't even register he was doing the shockwave attack. <laughs> Whoops. There is so much on the ground. Snatcher, when am I supposed to land? Never, probably, but like... There's this. This is not the attack I need! Snatcher, please! Snatcher, have a degree of mercy. Let me attack you. Thank you. Once again, ask and you shall receive, I suppose. But just because he lets me attack him doesn't mean he lets me attack him unscathed. Are you serious? There was probably like there was probably only one hit left and I got I choked up on the the teleporting shockwave attack as usual. The biggest F Thank you for the F. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe I got hit twice by that. I'm not surprised about getting hit once. That's usually like a flip of the coin, but twice that, that just sucks. I need that health elsewhere. I can't be wasting it on that. He dodged at the last second! Snatcher! You asshole! That hit him, don't tell me it didn't. Goes through him, I guess. Shockwaves, yep. There we go. This should be... Yeah, this is attack we need. Of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Give me health. Yes. Okay, good. We're back in it. For how long? I don't know, but we're back in it. Hey, Snatcher, what's up, buddy? How about you You throw me throw me a weapon I could use? There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nope. You are not using that, sir. Yeah. Figured I was going to hit, hit there. There's so much going on. At all times. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it's just a battle of waiting until he gives me an attack that I need, or until I die. Sure. Great time. That's not even the the blue potion spam that gives me the attack, and I'm already getting hurt. This is already going great. <laughs> Perfect. Two damage in before I even get one in on him. Fantastic. I don't think this one is the run, but I will I will give it I'll do my best and just hope. As soon as the, as soon as that pink shockwave started to stop on me, I knew that was it. Whenever that happens, I can never quite seem to to deal with it properly. I think I always get hit when like they start to like end on top of me, despite my best efforts. If not by the if not by the pink blast itself, but by the shockwave that comes out of it. I jumped right into that. Oh, jeez. I also notice it's like, if you take one damage... I, I've talked about this before on um, previous streams, but if like you take one damage, you're probably taking another one. Because it just like... 
getting hit, it stuns you, and, like, it just completely throws you off. So, okay. Uh, thank you for the good luck. Thank you for coming out, and, uh, good night. Hope you sleep well. But yeah, like, just getting hit once throws you off your rhythm, so you're probably getting hit again. Before you just com compose yourself again, and... Sometimes you get hit three times, and then it's just like, well, shit. That wasn't even the one that gives me an attacking potion. Don't you dare dodge. Okay, we want to get in another hit. As soon as possible, so we can get a healing. Because I've noticed that every. Oh, jeez. Every uh, two hits you you deal gives you a health pawn backwards. Back to you, so. The sooner. Come on. <clears throat> Let's just get rid of it. We can double jump and deal with this better. And now we can go and pick it up while he is in the center. Good. And that'll give us our healing. No, you don't. Okay. And if we can get another hit in without getting hit ourselves, that'll put us back at, back at full health, which would be ideal. Uh, let's get closer to the edge. Yeah. Because if you're closer to the center of the arena, a lot of the times he'll just teleport, uh, like, right below you, and then that that's pretty much just a gross cheap hit. Are you serious? Like, two times in a row, man? Give me... Uh, give me attacking. Give me attacking flasks. There we go. Nope. Well, at least we're hovering at around three. That isn't too bad. Oh god, now it now we're in shockwave hell. No! <laughs> oh my god. I love being hit when I can't even see. Come on. No! Snatcher! Snatcher! Come on, man! I hate, I hate how this is so dependent on whether my luck gives me the correct attack or not. He keeps doing the wrong attack, and it's the worst. And there's just nothing I can do about it. Gotcha. Okay, good. 
I was about to say that's a good omen that I will go and take damage immediately, so like, I, I shouldn't have, he have even begun to open my mouth there. I didn't expect him to use the the damaging one two times in a row, but so I, I do think that is my least favorite attack, where he throws the flasks as well as shockwaves. It's not honestly that hard to avoid, but it's just kind of annoying. Both in the fact that there's a a weird amount of stuff to avoid, as well as that it kind of taunts you. Uh, this should heal us? Yep, okay. This is probably the hardest one to avoid, because the where the shockwaves appear from is seemingly random, and then there's just so much on the ground at all times. He also should not be able to chain the, the attacks so quickly together. <laughs> because what the hell? There's not really a whole much I could do there. No, I don't want to enable easy mode game. Stop asking. You should be able to tell it to stop asking, because honestly, it's kind of patronizing. It's good that there is an easy mode, but the fact that it asks you, like, every couple times you die, it's like... That's mean. That's rude. Stop that. That, combined with the fact that it gives it, like... Different nicknames every time it asks. Where it's like, oh, you baby, you need peas and tranquility? Oh, It's like, no, shut up. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to fight this boss that you intentionally made very difficult. Why? Oh, is it because of the loading screen, the no one's here to help thing? I have seen that before. That is kind of funny. Enough with this attack, Snatcher! Snatcher, I swear to god, please just let me attack you. There's been a flask here the entire time, hasn't there? I'm a fool. This is the attack I would like. Thank you. Go, 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 go! Hey, full heal! 
and we lose it immediately because one of the one of the uh, the pink blasts spawned directly under us, and there's not really anything I can do about that. Many more hits though. I hope just one. I want free of I want free of this RNG hell. Oh my god. But instead we just get an infinite amount of shockwaves because uh, Snatcher hates us. And there we go. There's our death. God damn it. <laughs> Snatcher, why do you do this to me? Why do you hate me so? I was so close. At least, I'm pretty sure I was so close. I think I have like 10 minutes left. So please, please, Stat Snatcher, be merciful. Wow. I. That. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that. That was just a horrible playing on my part. Nope. Give me give me health pawn snatcher. And now it's time for shockwaves. He doesn't do the same exact attack twice in a row, which is nice, so if I see see flasks immediately following shockwaves, I'll know I'll be able to get a hit, which is nice. Oh my god. Come on, give me a way to attack because I know if I get another hit in, I will be able to heal at the very least. Are you serious? Are you serious? probably only get to have one or two more goes at this before I have to leave, which sucks, but I know I can do this, so I don't want to do a thing where I just record it and put it on YouTube for this one like I did the boss rush, because I know it's just a matter of luck working in my favor. So I'll, if I don't get it this time, I'll probably just start with it for the next time. But even so, it's still it's still frustrating if that I might not be able to get it done this time. Just cause Snatcher doesn't like to use doesn't like to use the attacks that work for the challenge. The jerk. Nope. There 
we go. I'll make sure I'm not in the shockwaves. I'm just gonna ignore this for now because if I pick up the flask now, I'm not gonna be able to avoid this attack. Okay, good. And now we'll just wait for him to go into the middle, and now we throw. Good. <laughs> not what I need, Snatcher. Oh god! He sent me to the moon! <laughs> what happened there? Okay. I mean, I'm glad that that was the attack we get, but also... There was a lot to avoid. <laughs> How many more hits do we have? I'm gonna pause because scratch my brow. There we go. Come on, damn it. Not quite what I need, Snatcher. There's so much on the ground everywhere. A very bad place to take damage. Oh Jesus! Oh come on! Uh, I only I, there was probably only one hit left again. Ah! Anger. Okay, this this will have to be the last attempt. And you know what? It's the witch outfit that's that's killing me. I need the the Nyakuza the Nyakuza vest. That that's what's been going on. I swear to God, if I win this attempt now that I have the vest on, I'm going to laugh. But yeah, the, this is absolutely the last attempt for now because I have to leave like in just a couple minutes. So here's hoping. Ow. Not a good start. Snatcher, I'm on a time limit here. Please give me the attack I need. Snatcher, I am on a time limit, sir. Please give me the attack I need. Thank you. Uh, not that I'm ever going to be able to pick this flask up. Oh, the flask disappears? I hate to end it on that massive an attempt, but I kind of have to.
So, we will... What the hell is happening? We will start with that challenge the next time we take on Death Wish. But for now, I gotta bounce. So, thank you. Why is it lagging so much? Good lord. But yeah, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that mess. See you next time.